Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Career Chats with RK and welcome to the playlist part second W interview ask scenarios so in this playlist uh, I have already created one part part first uh, if you did not see that part so please uh, go and check that part uh, first uh, W scenarios as well let's start with the part second and start with the first scenario the first scenario is find the sales between two dates so suppose I have a, any one date like 3-1-2021 and uh, I want to find the one year sale so 3-1-2021 to 3-1-2022 so likewise I want to uh, show the uh, date between uh, sales between two dates so for that uh, you need to create two parameters that is first order uh, start date parameter and second end date parameter so on the order date we will create our first parameter that is start date parameter okay and let's click ok and duplicate this parameter and edit this and name it as end date parameter okay because our uh, both the parameters are same data type are same current value list are same all the things are same just duplicate the name as end date parameter first uh, start date parameter uh, one and this is the end date parameter click on ok and show both the parameter so i will show start date parameter and end date parameter so as you can see we have created these uh, two parameters that is start date parameter and end date parameter now I want to show the sales month wise so I will make it as continuous month and show the sales but it is showing uh, all the sales from 2020 to 2024 but I want to select only one year sale so this is 3-1-2020 and in end date parameter I will select 3-1-2021 okay so i will select 3 to 2022 so one year one month or i will make it as one year only so 3 1 2021 so 3 1 2020 to 3 1 3 uh, 2021 i want to find this one year sale only but in visualization it will shows all the year sales to us so for that uh, to connect these visualizations to the parameters we need to create one calculation field that is I will uh, name it as connect parameter and the calculation field is order date is greater than equal to start date parameter and order date is less than equal to end date parameter so the calculation is valid let's click on apply and ok so this calculation creates a boolean field take this boolean field cal filter filter and checks the true value and click on the ok so as you can see and i will open the text it will shows us only the sales from 3 1 2020 to 3 1 uh, 2021 if you want to uh, make it more clear so from show me button you can make it cross tab as well and take this month into the rows now as you can see it is showing january 2020 to january 2021 sale now if i change the two three months more so it will add it that month as well in the visualization so i hope you like uh, understand this scenario so that's it for this scenario let's move to the second scenario the second scenario is fetch the first three characters of each subcategory so suppose i have subcategory so what the scenario actually is i want to fetch first three characters in each category so suppose here is the accessories so i want uh, from accessories acc app art because it's only the three characters so it will fetch all the characters here so from uh, binders we want only bin so likewise 
in each subcategory names i want first three characters so for that we need to write one calculation field that is fetch three characters and the calculation is simple left this sub, uh, string is subcategory and comma we want to fetch three characters let's the calculation is valid apply and ok and take this into the text so as you can see we have fetched only the first three characters in each subcategory likewise if you want to fetch uh, suppose last three characters so for that we have dupli we will duplicate this field just uh, replace sorry i will duplicate this and just replace left with right okay so it will fetch right three characters from every so as you can see it will fetch the right three characters from each subcategory so i hope you understand the scenario and that's it for this scenario if you have any doubt please comment me in the section we will definitely resolve that doubt as well so let's move to the third scenario the third scenario is fix region percentage when i unselect any region other region percentage should be same so i will take region first in the rows and then i will take sales and i will make it as percent of total and i will show the filter region filter so basically what is the scenario whenever i unselect any region so other region percentage should be same so now as you can see central region is 21.63 east region is 29.74 south region is 16.84 and waste region is 31.84 so if i unselect this waste region so other region percentage should be remain same so this is the scenario but what happen here if i uncheck the waste region the other region percentage is changing so i don't want like that i want to fix the other region percent as well so for that you need to write one calculation field i remove the sum of calculation here or i will write the new calculation that is fix region percentage okay so you need to write one calculation that is fix so i want to fix region and region sum of sales let's complete this divided by fix sum of sales so it will fix your sales percentage as well so let's take this into the visualization now this is the our calculation field fix region so i will make it as percent okay so now as you can see this is our calculation so if i unselect unselect any way so other region so other region percentage should be remain same but in this first our uh, only sales so it is changing so i will remove this now as you can see if i unselect any region other region percentage should be remain same in the visualization so this is the our scenario and that's it for this scenario i hope you understand this scenario let's move to the next scenario that is highlight above average line bar in different color and below average line bar in different color okay so for that we will take sub category in the columns cells in the rows and we will add average line from the analytics pane so now our visualization is ready now what we want we want to color the above average line bar in the different color above average line uh, and below average line bars in different color okay so for that we need to write one calculation field that is highlight bars 
okay and the calculation is if sum of cells is equal to window average sum of cells then we want sum of cells else what we want else we want window average sum of cells and let's end this calculation the calculation is valid so what uh, we do in the calculation if my sum of cells is equal to window average sum of cells then we want sum of cells else we want window average sum of cells so that that's it in this calculation let's click on apply okay and take this calculation into the rows make it dual axis okay make it an entire view from marks make it bar chart okay and now you need to synchronize the axis and as you can see our bars below average line bars are different color and above average line bars in the different color so i hope you understand this scenario first you need to i will show you again so first uh, you need to create calculation field that i have already created okay take this calculation field into the rows and make it a dual axis chart after creating dual axis make it as entire view and from all make it as bar chart okay after this you need to synchronize axis because we want both the axis same so synchronize axis and after synchronizing axis it will shows us the below average line bars in different color and above average line bars in different color if you want you can change the color palette from here as well so that's it in this scenario let's move to the next scenario that is create dynamic average line on visual so suppose i have any visual i will take again sub category and sales here and i will add the average line from the analytics pane so now this is the fixed average line okay in the visualization but i want this visualization average line dynamically whatever value i will put in the uh, like section it will shows me the average dynamically so for that you need to create one parameter on the average line so click on the average line edit average line and from the value select create new parameter and name it as dynamic average line okay so the current value is 1 i will make it as suppose 20000 and let's click on okay and press okay so as you can see our dynamic average line parameter are here and our average line is now dynamically created so whatever value suppose i will put 50000 here so as you can see our average line is changing i will put 90000 so as you can see our average line is now dynamic so that's it for this scenario and uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please do like and subscribe and uh, i hope you like this uh, playlist as well so that's it for this uh, video thank you guys